Hey diesel fans, welcome to episode 2 of Diesel Shop Talk with Diesel Power Source, where we discuss anything and everything diesel and performance. Today, we're going to continue our discussion about the factory VGT turbo that comes stock on the 6.7 Cummins. If you haven't watched our prior episode, I suggest you go check it out because we went over how the stock VGT turbo operates and why it tends to go out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of this important information where we cover everything diesel and performance. Now, the dreaded SDS or stuck turbo syndrome is its own pandemic that's affecting hundreds of thousands of Cummins owners each year. Chances are that if your stock VGT turbo hasn't got stuck, it will. It's not a fun thing to experience. But if you know what to do, you can end up with a much better performing and cooler running 6.7 Cummins. So let's talk about your turbo replacement for when this goes out and gets stuck. What can you do when you suffer from STS? Let's find out. So your first option is to get a stock turbo and stock actuator from the dealer. It costs about $4,000, there's no performance improvement at all, and you get a stock turbo that's prone to failure. We have customers call us all the time and state that they're on their second and maybe even their third stock turbo replacement over the last couple of years. Option number two would be to go with a stock modified turbo. What this means is a company has machined out the stock housing to accommodate a larger wheel. This does give you more power, but you're stuck with stock components, stock actuator, and the stock exhaust housing. With the stock exhaust housing, it's still prone to high EGTs. And you're stuck with stock components, which are prone to failure. And that's why we're here in the first place, because you ended up with STS. A third and better option would be replacing the broken stock turbo with an S300 or S400 fixed vane journal bearing turbo in either a second gen swap or a third gen swap. This is the stock whole set VGT turbo and the stock one piece exhaust manifold with a T4i. Here is the stock VGT actuator on the turbo. With the stock whole set turbo you'll see that the compressor cover has the 90 degree elbow outlet going to your intercooler. The intake from the air filter. Once again, the turbo mounting flange is a T4i, not a T4. And then you have a 4 inch V-band clamp to the exhaust elbow. To replace this turbo with an aftermarket S300 or S400 turbo, you have to match up all four of these points. You see, the 6.7 stock VGT and stock manifold use an odd T4i flange to match up. So if you replace your turbo with an aftermarket S300 or S400 frame turbo, they will have to have a T3 or T4 flange and will not match up to the stock turbo T4i flange. This option requires replacing both the turbo and the manifold. This manifold warped so bad we had to saw it off the truck. A second gen swap uses a second gen manifold, which puts the turbo in a very different location and requires a lot of parts and fabrication. Our third gen swap kit uses a third gen style manifold, T3 or T4, and keeps the turbo in the stock location and requires no modification. It is basically swapping the turbo and manifold with a few other minor parts. Both types of swaps require that your truck already be deleted and have a program or tuner that stops the computer from looking for the stock turbo. Some people believe the second gen swap is the way to go because they think it balances out the cylinders better, has better sound, outflows and outperforms a third gen swap. However, this belief is not actually true. Our DPS third gen manifolds basically flow identical to a second gen manifold. Our third gen swap kit is awesome because it bolts right up to the stock exhaust, intercooler, and intake. Our third gen swap kit has less parts, easier to install, and costs a lot less than a second gen swap, but the performance is the same. Our third gen swap kit with a fixed vein S300 or S400 turbo will perform much better than the stock VGT and it'll save you money. The downside of going with a fixed vein S300 or S400 in the third gen swap is that you no longer have a VGT turbo and you will lose your exhaust brake. You see, the exhaust brake on a 6.7 is in the stock VGT turbo. To exhaust brake, it slides the vane shut, which blocks the exhaust. This is really the only thing that the stock VGT turbo does well. When you replace the stock turbo, you'll lose the exhaust brake. If you would like a VGT style turbo and an exhaust brake, but don't want a stock turbo, the fourth and best option is our Terminator VGT turbo. The Terminator is our own VGT style turbo that comes in S300 or S400 and T3 or T4. It acts like a 0.45 on the low end and all the way up to a 1.1 AR on the high end. 
The Turbinator will fit on almost any application that a fixed vane S300 or S400 will fit. It works great as a replacement turbo in our third gen swap kits. Subscribe and turn on notifications because in our next episode, we're going to be talking more about the amazing Turbinator VGT. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Diesel Shop Talk. Until next time, take care of yourself, keep your truck cool, 